Hi, I'm Mark Chopko, Executive Chef at the Courtyard Marriott at the University of Delaware. And I'm Jeff Brittingham, sous chef. Today we're going to be doing our famous pot roast. We're going to start with a eye round of beef between five and six pounds. I'm going to lightly hit it with some salt and pepper. Then we're going to braise it in a saute pan in about a cup and a half of clarified butter. You can also use uh, an oil if you like that instead. We're going to put it in here and get it brown on all three sides. And as he's searing the eye round, I'm going to start cleaning, washing, and cutting my vegetables. We have fresh uh, celery, garlic, onions, uh, parsley, and a bunch of fresh herbs with it. We're going to go ahead and cut them up. I'm going to add some flour to the remaining oil and make this brew very quickly. Starting to get a little color to it. Now we'll use this screw to tighten the beef stock. Right. We have all of our vegetables here our parsley, our onion, our celery, and our carrot. I'm going to dump that right over top of the pot roast. We're at actually going to roast this for five hours. Okay, into the oven it goes for five hours. So after five hours in the oven, we're going to take the pot roast out, we're going to unwrap it, and we're going to see if it's fork tender. We're going to cut about half inch slices from this eye ram. Once our pot roast is on the hot sizzle plate, we're going to smother it in the gravy. You don't have to go, go light with this gravy, it's, it's tasty. We're going to pair our pot roast with some nice fluffy mashed potatoes, which we already have hot, ready to go. Nothing goes better with pot roast than mashed potatoes. And we're gonna plate it, plate it up. Just nice layered slices. So we're make sure we stir this gravy up just a little bit. Smother it again. Make sure we get some on the mashed potatoes. We're going to use parsley, just keep it nice and simple, and that's our pot roast.